Hey, media, we see you starting to file in here. We'll just give everyone a minute to load into the Zoom. If you want to ask Fabian a question, you can hit the raise hand bottom at the bottom, raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. And we'll get going in just a minute. All right, we can start with Steve Conroy. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Fabian, congratulations. Thank you, man. Uh, just to take us through your year in, in making the jump from the junior team to, to the, the men's league. How big, big a jump was that for you? I mean, obviously, uh, that's a transition that's, uh, that's tough. Uh, I mean, playing against uh, men's in ACHL, is, that's a tough league for sure. It's, uh, it's really competitive and uh, you gotta have, uh, you got to be prepared for each game. So um, that was obviously a, a jump to do, but uh, I really enjoyed uh, doing that for sure. And I think, uh, you know, just uh, being in that uh, environment uh, with all the guys and uh, learning from them has, uh, has helped me a lot. And uh, that's something I'm going to bring into the future. So uh, it's been it's been a, a really fun year for sure. Thank you. We'll go next to Matt Porter. Hey, Fabian, congratulations uh, again. What do you see the next few years looking like for you as far as, you know, coming to North America, developing in Sweden? How do you see this playing out for you? Uh, thank you, man. Um, I think uh, it's a dialogue I, I got to have with, uh, with the Boston now, and uh, we will definitely talk about that. But um, uh, right now, I'm just looking forward for next season and, uh, and starting playing again. So, um, yeah, obviously, super honored to, to be a part of this organization. and. Uh, Looking forward to what the, the future brings. Joe Haggerty. Hey, Fabian. Congrats on being drafted uh, by the Bruins. Just uh, any connections to the Bruins organization? And what do you know about the Bruins after being drafted by them? So I guess, uh, I mean, Boston is a, they are one of the better teams in NHL, obviously. Um, I mean, they have... Uh, Super good guys like Pasenak and Bergeron, those guys that I, I tend to watch a lot of and you know watching these highlights or, or stuff. So um, I think um, I think just from watching them, I I know a uh, few things about the team and uh, I've heard uh, great things about the city as well. So uh, as I said before, I think uh, this is just a dream come true for me and. Uh, Hopefully, I can uh, I can uh, work hard to 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 play there one day, and uh, that's my main goal right now. And how would you describe yourself uh, to somebody that had never seen you play before? Um, I think I'm a dynamic player. Uh, I like to challenge the opponents with the, with pace, and uh, I, I try to use my skating and stickling to to create separation for myself and uh, and to be in those. Uh, dangerous uh, scoring area so um, yeah that's uh, that's what i think thanks bud congrats again thank you man kevin dupont fabian as, as this last season played out did you have any contact with uh, bruin scouts did did you get a sense of their interest during the year um uh, yeah i mean uh, i i talked to the to the team and um Obviously, I had uh, great meetings with them. Um, talked to the Swedish guys and uh, and the North American guys as well. So, um, yeah, that was a process. I, I talked to them a few times. I, I spoke to the um, to the team staff um, just a couple of days ago. So uh, I had a good feeling uh, with Boston, and uh, yeah, I was super happy when uh, my name uh, get called up. So uh, yeah. I, I was wondering if if, if it might have been PJ Axelson during the year, because he played here. He scouts over there. Did you did you meet with him at all? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I I just spoke to him actually on the phone. So, um, I spoke to Pebina a few times. Gotcha. And and lastly, have you been here? Have you come to North America to play? Have you seen Boston? You know anything about it? Um, I haven't been to Boston. Uh, but I have been in uh, North America a couple of times. Um, so I'm kind of familiar with the, 
that continent, but uh, obviously uh, a bit far from home. Okay, thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Kirk Ledecky. Hey, Fabian, congratulations. Just curious if you're planning on coming over to participate in the Boston Bruins development camp and um, what you would like to most improve on your game as you develop. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully I can, uh, I can come to the development camp and uh, that should be uh, a, fu uh, a really fun experience to do. Um, I, I think uh, what I'm trying to work on right now is obviously my strength. Um, that's something I've been working on a lot uh, during the summer. Um, but uh, like the, on the ice, I feel like I, I try to work on the puck protection to, to create separation for myself there and maybe control the pace of my game a bit more, be a bit more patient at times. Um, and then obviously uh, still try to work on my strengths. Um, I feel like yeah, that's the thing that separates yourself from others. So um, yeah, those areas is, is something I try to work on. Quick follow-up question. I know you come from Frolunda. You know, that was uh, your development system. What did, uh, you know, what did coming out of that program do for you to prepare you to be successful this, this past season? Um, so I think Frolunda, they have, uh, like, yeah, the trainings there are, are really tough. Um, the off-ice training is, is super tough. So um, I think uh, that, that has been a, uh, a process for everybody coming from that environment to, to learn how to, to train hard uh, at a young age. So that's the thing that's going to st stick with me. And I think that's, uh, that's going to help me in the future. So definitely that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take our last question from Jimmy Murphy. Hey, Fabian, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted, you know, I mean, given everything that was going on with COVID and, and how it was hard maybe for some scouts over here from North America to get over to Europe uh, during all this, what was it like as a prospect uh, leading into this draft? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously the draft is, is something you, it's a dream for every guy that, that starts playing hockey and, uh, and want to do that in the future. So I think obviously um, playing on your draft here is, is special um, since you talk to, to teams and, and those stuff. But I mean, I, you just try to enjoy the process and learn from it and, uh, you know, uh, you talk a lot of English, so uh, hopefully I've developed that a bit uh, this year. And uh, uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a fun process. All right, thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Fabian, and thank you, Media, for joining us. Uh, we'll have Don Sweeney here in just about five minutes using the same link. We'll see you guys soon.